I am. I am a man. I was a member of the committee that gave the prize to Dr. Wang and Dr. Chen. And uh, when uh, we saw the achievement of these two gentlemen, we were truly impressed. And particularly for one reason. Everybody today talked about targeted therapy. But uh, the first clinical trial by taking advantage of targeted therapy was a clinical trial that they carried out in uh, 1986. And uh, before that, they found that uh, transretinoic acid could induce uh, terminal differentiation and death of uh, an extremely aggressive uh, leukemia called acute promulocytic leukemia, or M3 AML. And this was considered the most lethal form of acute myelogenous leukemia. In uh, observation that they carried out at the bedside, they thought that uh, transretinoic acid would induce the differentiation of acute premyelocytic cell. And by inducing such differentiation, the cancer cell essentially will be dead. And so they carry out this clinical trial that showed that over 80% of the patient with acute promyelocytic leukemia went into complete remission. That was a revolutionary finding that introduced a novel form of therapy called differentiation therapy, also apoptosis-inducing uh, therapy. So that was a phenomenal finding and uh, essentially the first uh, trial of uh, um, targeted therapy in the world before even the imatinib uh, trial for chronic uh, myelogenous leukemia. But then it was found that a number of patients treated with uh, transretinoic acid redeveloped leukemia again. So they had uh, a reappearance of the, of the disease, a relapse of the disease. And again, by taking advantage of uh, finding in Chinese medicine, they found that, that uh, arsenic trioxide could also induce uh, differentiation and death of uh, acute promyelocytic cell. And then in the 90, they carried out a uh, uh, trial with ATO and then with ATRA and ATO. And today, over 95% of patients with acute promyelocytic leukemia survive over Five, five years, over 95%. These are really revolutionary findings. And in addition, are telling us that the approach of discovery at the patient bedside can be translated in fundamental discovery. And those discovery can lead to patient to, to cure. Later on, it was found that ATRA act on the retinoic acid receptor alpha, one of the two fusion partners in resulting from this 15-17 translocation characteristic of this leukemia. And later on, it was found that ATO worked on the other partner called PML. So through their work, they have, they have shown to us the path, the way, to finally conquer some of the cancer. That was the first, and I think in the future, we will be able to cure one malignancy after the other. And we have to thank these two gentlemen, Dr. Wang and Dr. Chen, for their magnificent discovery. Thank you to both of you.